One of the things that you need to be concerned about when you think about managing your woods and sustainability of it is tree vigor. Uh, it's important to try to maintain trees that, that are vigorous, have the capability to withstand uh, insect uh, insects and, and, and diseases and that kind of thing. And one of the things that you, where you can get an indication of the vigor trees is by looking at their crowns. The crown of a tree will tell you a lot about uh, its vigor, how healthy it is. And we'll look at a couple of examples of that. Um, trees that have good vigor usually have a crown that, that is spread out, that's well balanced on all sides. Um, and we've got a good example of that the larger trees in this stand, the overstory trees or main canopy trees, and, and if, you, if you look up, you can see that this tree, a large tree in this stand, and, and when you look up, you can see that its crown is spread out, uh, getting a lot of full sunlight. It's well balanced, uh, nice and circular, and that tree doesn't have any dead branches in it. Uh, so that's an indication that the tree is of relatively good vigor, and that's what you, we would be striving for um, in the management of, of our woods. Now, when there are trees that are that same size or are dominant canopy trees that can lose their vigor, and typically uh, we find that those trees have major branches that are starting to die back. And if you walk through your woods, you can often find trees that are larger trees that will have those dead, large dead branches in them. Uh, maybe some branches are just starting to die off now. And, and these are good examples of trees that have lost their vigor, large size trees. Now, oftentimes they're losing their vigor, maybe because they're getting old. Some trees, um, once they get close to their, um, their age limit, or their lifespan, uh, you'll start to see that in the dieback of their, of their crown. Now, certainly um, we, can, we can also look at the vigor of, of smaller trees uh, in, in the woods. And, and sometimes these smaller trees, and I'll give you this as an example right here, this tree right here, we see the big saw timber sized tree here that is 85 to 90 years old, and we see uh, this tree here that's much smaller in diameter. And if you just look at the diameter, you would think, well, this is a much younger tree, maybe 20 or 30 years old, something like that. Well, the reality of it is this tree is, is 70 to 80 years old, very close in age to this much larger tree over here. And that's very common for a lot of woods. We think of them as being uneven aged or, or the smaller trees being much younger than the larger trees in the stand. But in, but in fact, that's not the case. Uh, these smaller trees oftentimes are very old. They're smaller because they didn't get as much of a head start as these trees did. And so they've always maintained growth in the shade uh, and that has restricted their diameter growth. So um, for example, if you were cutting this woods and harvesting it, you, be, you might be cutting your older tree or your larger trees because they have more value in them and that kind of thing. And you're leaving these smaller trees thinking that, well, they're younger and they're gonna, uh, they've got lots of vigor and they're gonna be your, your next large tree. When in fact, what you've done is you've, you've left an, an older tree that a lot of times is, is less vigorous because as these trees age in the understory or the midstory or below the main canopy of, of the woods, uh, eventually they lose enough vigor and they die out. And I'm gonna walk over here and show you a good example of that. This tree right here is, is a white oak, and, and, and it, it has, you can see when you look up it, uh, it has died uh, within the last uh, probably five or so years. And so this is an example of a tree that held on, and, and we know from, from uh, aging trees in this stand that this tree was right at 65 to 75 years old. So this was a very old white oak tree uh, that has finally succumbed because of its canopy position. And so eventually these low vigor trees eventually will die out. So it's good to understand a little bit about vigor. The crown uh, tells you about the vigor of the tree. Uh, you must remember that vigor is related to age oftentimes. And just because you have small trees and woods doesn't mean they're young trees. And some of those may have low vigor because they are older and they've lived in a position that doesn't allow them to get very, many, very much sunlight. Uh, and, and eventually they've, they've become low vigor and, and died out. 
So the consideration of vigor is something that you and your forester uh, can go and assess your woods, get, get a idea of the vigor of the different species in your woods and the different size classes that have different vigor associated with them, and that can help make uh, management decisions or make your management decisions easier.